Good morning, Model Three. Hello. Hi. Yes, hello there. Is that uh, a Wardle Stories PLC? Yes, yes, uh huh. Uh, hello there, good morning. I hope you can hear me. Yes. Uh, right, my name is Johnson. I'm with a company called Auto Pickups. Uh huh. It's a car that I'm picking up on behalf of Seal of Zid Old Mini Lol. Uh huh. Contracted with you. It's a blue Ford Escort. Uh huh. A D registration. Do you know if it's there? Yeah, my car is there. That's my car. Right. Oh, it's your car? Yeah, and you're not picking it up. And what do you mean you're picking it up on behalf of Wolvie and Borders, please? Well, my company has been assigned to pick up your car. Sorry? I'm sorry, has, has Lothian and Borders Police not been in touch with you? No, they haven't. Right, I'm sorry, I don't know who you are. The car is apparently a ringer. I beg your pardon? The car has been ringed. Well, I'm sorry, but you're not picking up my car. I am so. I'm coming up to pick it just now. What I'm phoning to do is to check... No, you're not doing anything. I'm checking to see if it's there in the car park. It's to be crushed today. Sorry? The car has to be crushed today. You give me your company name and your, your company name's Auto Pickup. Auto Pickup, PLC, yes. Uh-huh. Now, I, I need you to sign the official receipt today. Well, that will be right. And what, what police officer is it that's acting this? We, 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 we... Well, are, if you don't know, you won't be doing anything. We are subcontracted. Sorry? We are, we are subcontracted. Subcontracted, is that right? Well, are you some kind of funny firm like the wheel clampers or whatever? Look, love, I'm only doing my job. I couldn't care what you're doing. I'm telling you, you go near my car, right? And you'll not have a life. Are, are, you thre- are you threatening me? That's right, I am threatening you. Look, me. look, you just make sure your personal effects are removed from the vehicle and you're there to sign for it when I come up. You give me your boss's number and I'll phone him right now. Well, I've got a mobile number if you no, want. No, it's your boss's number. Do you want a name? Mm-hmm. It's Galloway in the morning at Scott FM. You're joking. <laughs> I'll have to go. Bye. That was Donna. Helen Drummond. On the wind-up from Scott FM. Hello? Would that be Mrs. Drummond? Uh-huh. Melbury is my name. I'm, I'm calling you from Strishigan out there. Council, we, we've had a, a series of complaints about some cars blocking your road. There's apparently uh, some people who come and visit you quite regularly. Uh-huh. Uh, it says here their big cars take up the whole street. I don't know how it's taking up the school avenue. There's an ice cream van parked down there. It is a very narrow street that you're on, though. I know, but what else am I supposed to do with the car? You're going to have to do something about this, Mrs. Drummond. Well, I'll tell you what, you've got to take a trip round here at night time and see ice cream vans, works vans, lorries, everything parked. I pay rates and tax. I'm entitled to park my car. But not three big, gutsy cars like that. Oh, I'm raging at this, absolutely raging. Well, I mean, there's four if you take in, into consideration the, the big white Volvo as well. As, as... What do you want me to do with the white Volvo? What do you want me to do? Trade it in for a minute? That would be an idea. Aye. Certainly there'd be, there'd be taxable benefits on that. Well, I'll just get my husband to phone the council after. My, my dear woman, I, I'm trying to sort this out as amicably as possible. There's nothing to sort out. Well, can you not just get the cars off the road? No. You're refusing? I'm refusing, I. Fine, well, we'll have them towed away the next time they come down there. Well, you bet. See, when you're towing it away, come down here and tow away the ice cream vans and all the rest of the vans that's sitting here. We need that car. Hello, this is your last council can I help you. Hello, I just had a phone call there. I don't know who it was from. I bet the, my son's coming down to visit and park their car. Who's calling, please? Mrs. Drummond. Help you, hold on. Hello? Yes, hello. You put the phone down on me there. Is that Mrs. Drummond again? Well, look, I can assure you, whoever's reporting, my son's lock heavy is down here once a month. We've got one space in the car. Sometimes they can't even get a space. How about perhaps the visits could be cut down to maybe twice a year? Can I have your name and I'll get my husband to phone you? All right, then. I pay my taxes, I pay my rates. One car we've got, and they're complaining of ice cream vans parked here, of what vans. You have no idea what like it is. It's an absolute nightmare. Now, I shouldn't be giving out this classified information to you. Uh-huh. Right? Now, one of the neighbours, uh-huh. or one of the names that I have here, uh-huh. this is one of, one of the complaintiff. Uh-huh. A Rosemary McLachlan. Do you know who that is? My sister, Rosemary McLaughlin. That's the one. What's she doing that for? Well, she, she wrote to a radio station called Scott FM, and this is... Oh! Oh, I'm going to tell her. Hello, Helen. Oh, oh I don't believe this. Oh! <laughs> 
she says. I'm another dial that says. Yeah, no, that was I me. I'm going to come over and mouse with you. Oh, oh, I'm going to kill her. <laughs> thanks. Oh, I'm not saying thanks. <laughs> Cheerio. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. <laughs>